Let's pretend you are an addicted gambler at a slot machine to keep it simple and you uh, start with zero winnings, you lost one, you are back to zero, you gained one, you gained two, back, etc. Uh, we did that all with formulas in my book simulations. It has 80 different simulations and here is the, the gambling section. I'm just doing this one, but the difference with the book is that this time I'm going to also do that in VBA. How would you do that? Let me explain this very briefly. The rest you can find in my book. This one has a formula in here. If a random number between 0 and 1 is greater than 0.5, then add 1, otherwise subtract 1. And it does that all the way down, in, in my case, to row 100. And then I mimic that another 20 times. So I calculate first what the average is in column A, what the minimum was, what the maximum was, the standard deviation. And finally, I calculated the, the final position in A100. I, I lost in this case at the end 15 cases. And then we are going to repeat that 20 more times. You do that with a data table. It starts with a formula here, and then you are going to create a data table this way. You select that section. You could put numbers in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, etc. But you can also leave it empty. Data, data, what if analysis, a data table. And then you just make the row input empty and the column input anywhere. I'm going to do J2 or whatever, etc. So we end up with this situation, here are the RANDs calculations, and here is the table array, and then we did some conditional formatting, so here it will only highlight what is negative on average, and here it will do bar formatting, bar columns that show you when we were positive and negative, and then we calculated the average there. So each time I press F9, I rerun all these formulas, and you will get all of this. What we are going to do now is we are going to make a VBA code that is going to repeat that. I assign Control Shift G to it. It asks me how many rows do you want? Thousand. I'm just keeping 100. It enters a new sheet. It puts all of that in there and it gives me at the end, I have 12 runs with an average above zero. And the average of the final score is 2.43. And if I do it again, it creates a new one. This time I'm going to do 1000. That might take a little longer. And again, I had 10 runs with an average above, etc. And it puts also conditional formatting in here. As I said before, it's done in the book simulations, but just with formulas. Now we are going to do it with a VBA. I called the subroutine gambling in a new module. I declared variables, then I asked how many rows do you want? By default 100. We add a new worksheet to the collection of worksheets and capture that with OWS of the worksheet type. We put in range A1, 0 to start with. And then in all the rows down up to I row, we put a formula that says equals. And this was the formula that I showed you before. You put that inside double quotes and the formula equals this. Then in D1, we put a formula also for the average. This is the formula again inside double quotes. So we have two times an equal sign here. This sets the formula property and that is part of the formula. Then the min, the max, the standard deviation. And then we also did in the final one, we take the formula equals the last row in I row, the address of it, and we make it, in this case, relative or absolute, 
that is done with false false and then finally we create that array table range c2 through range h22 use the table command no row input and the column input i to b2 but you can do i to as long as it's not in the table itself okay then we are going to do some formatting by declaring a variable of the object type but in this case a format condition type we set o range which is of the range type to the range d2 for d22 which is again this whole range then we set o format to the format conditions of o range by adding a new format condition there wasn't one yet but you have to add one first it is of the cell value type of the less type that's the operator and finally the formula that we use in there if it's equals zero but because it's the of the less type it will say less than when it equals zero and we format the interior with the color whatever color you choose you can also use the rgb function the rgb function has the red green and blue arguments up to 255 then we do conditional formatting with bars which is only possible in later versions of excel so if you have version 2007 this part will not be possible there are no data bars yet but otherwise you can declare a variable of the data bar type for the range h2 through h22 so again that is this range column with 15 that is eyeballing we put a formula in the last h24 the average of o range address and you close your parentheses then we set o bar which was of the data bar type to a new data bar in the format conditions and here and this is I don't think it needs much explaining, but you have to set all kinds of types. Min point modify. The max point modify. Make it a gradient. The direction is based on the context. The negative bar format. You have to determine the color type. We make it a solid border. We do border color type again for the negative bar. The axis position automatic. Determine the color of that bar. Determine the color of the negative bar. And blow up the window a little bit to 130. And then finally we give a message by starting with a string that uses the worksheet function count if in column 4 if that is greater than 0 give me that number and add to it the text runs with an average above 0 then we expand as message by what we had already we add a carriage return and we say the average of the final scores is and then we use whatever is calculated in H24, which was this guy. And we format that to two decimals. And then we put in the message box whatever that string looks like now. Again, what we have now is a control shift that we used before. Control shift G. How many rows? And it creates a new sheet with another run. So this is really a Monte Carlo simulation. It repeats that many, many times. And this person has on average one. 
after all those cases, but you have to be a very dedicated gambler and very pursuing. You need to know probably more about VBA. So I would recommend that you join the thousands of people who have bought this CD-ROM or had their company buy the CD-ROM so you could share it with your employees or your co-workers. And it has three modules. Each has more than 500 slides, interactive. And here are also the sections that discuss how you make formulas in VBA. You can find all of this at genesispc.com.